Greetings and welcome to This Merchant Life. I'm Catherine of Sky, and I am intrigued to play this game because the email from the developer told me that it's a sort of uh, 2D medieval elite crossed with Oregon Trail and the most important thing is that the game contains more than an average amount of orange. <laughs> Thank you so much, Simon of Inexplicable Games, for sending me a key for this game. You have intrigued me. Orange is the most important part of any game. We all know this. Um, but in reality, guys, this is a, uh, a trading game with a lot of narrative content. And I'm really excited to kind of see how this plays out. Now, I've read a little bit about the game, but I have not actually played it. So this is going to be a first impressions video, and, and we'll see if we like it. So let's start a new game. Okay, select your background. You can have Soldier, Security Bonus, and conceal bonus. Okay. A hard ten years in Peregrine's army taught you many things, primarily that war is hell and pays badly. A series of minor territorial disputes with neighboring kingdoms and a full-blown war against the bandit king kept you away from home for years at a time. On watch duty at night, as you stared into the treacherous darkness, you would long for home and a peaceful life. At least you learned how to fight better than most, but you don't want it to be all people think you're good for anymore. Okay. Right. Could be a sailor. Security bonus of 1, capacity 10. No speed or conceal bonuses. Your days on the everlasting sea were good days, by and large. You saw faraway lands, worked the spice lanes to the eastern cities, and peered across endless glimmering oceans toward the abyss. You gained a healthy tan, a strong constitution, and a lifelong aversion to sea biscuits. You've seen the power of trade, and while you could never afford your own trading ship, a small cart is a more reasonable place to start. Okay, that sounds good. Stable hand. Oh, two speed bonus, but no other bonuses. Since childhood, you have always had a strong affinity for horses, so it was natural to you for you to end up caring for them as a profession. After some years as a stable hand, you have come to a profound realization. It would be nice to own your own stables one day and to pay someone else to shovel manure. <laughs> This is good. I'm liking the humor so far. You've saved enough to buy a rather underrated mare from your employer, and you hope it'll be the start of a lucrative business partnership. Okay, or we can be a scholar. Capacity bonus 5, conceal bonus 2. While lay people apparently assume persons of knowledge at the scholarly cast to spend all their time with their heads figuratively buried in great tomes, they misunderstand the wider animus of scholarly life. It is not simply enough to know everything, as you do, but surely also to apply that vast knowledge to good effect. Being a scholar sadly pays very poorly. This widely assumed truth turns out sadly to have a verisimilitude in abundance. Right. Hmm. What do we want? Now, I know that the game involves traveling from town to town and trading goods, and there are bandits that are going to attack us. We've got to keep this in mind. However, I don't know how all of these things play well together. I'm tempted to take the sailor, security bonus, and capacity bonus. Um, soldier has a concealed bonus. All right, let's choose a sailor. That sounds like a plan to me. All right, the world map. Welcome to the Kingdom of Peregrine. You are ready to begin this merchant life. Right now you have 2,000 coins and a trade card at Woodford, indicated by the red star in the northwest of the kingdom. Okay, so that's over here. Use the arrow keys or WASD to move the camera around the map. Left click on the town you're in, then the hub button to access town options. Left clicking any town directly linked to your current location brings up the option to travel there if you have a trade permit. Right. Right now, you have permits to travel anywhere in the forest and the heartlands regions. Luckily for you, this includes the capital at Archon. Right mouse click any settlement on the map to get general details on it. Randos. <laughs> I like this. Feeling nature's bounty. Randos is within the boundaries of the Holbeck Forest, but is actually to be found within an enormous artificial arbor. A large clearing where trees still encroach above as much as they can. The druidic scholars found sunlight here to get be at least 50% more dappled than anywhere else. The city also features generous parkland and lakes and is known for a production of tools, particularly its famous randaxes. Right. Also home to the Hunter's Guild, said to be among the finest marksmen around, their motto, we are among the finest marksmen around. <laughs> this is so worth reading. I love this text. This is so good, guys. I'm liking this so far. All right, so we need, we need to sell, no, we need to buy these things, and then we can sell these items. 
Right, so it looks like there are basic items, which may be these. Um, I know that there are different tiers of items. I'm guessing these are the tiers. All right, so we can sell them this stuff. Grain, meat, and iron. What do we have in Woodford? Ford? There's timber, hides, and ale. The woodiest town this side of Oakville. A small border town near Holback Forest, Woodford is a sleepy rural community with homely reputation. They're very proud of their dressmakers here and host a market festival centered around them during high summer. Woodford also has won the most flammable town award 25 years in a row. <laughs> oh god, since Oakville burned to the ground. <laughs> oh dear me. Oh my god. This is so funny. Um, how do I trade? How do I buy stuff here? Caravan. Here you see the state of your caravan and the marvel at the beauty of your trade card. It is beautiful, isn't it? The four key stats of your card are shown here. It's speed, how, how quickly the cart travels, capacity, how much the cart can carry. Uh, security, how well the cart can withstand attacks. Uh, concealment, reduces the chance of getting attacked on the roads. You can see also how many of each resources you have at the bottom of the sidebar. Important info when you're planning your next destination. Okay. Skills. Oh, I see. Skills sidebar is where you can unlock useful new abilities for your merchant. To spend an upgrade point and unlock a skill, select the skill category you want, then the skill, then upgrade at the bottom of the sidebar. To unlock higher tier perks, you need to increase your merchant rank by completing goals. Ah, we haven't seen that yet. At the top of the sidebar, you can see your merchant's level. Upgrade points. Huh? Uh, okay. Your merchant's level goes up when the XP bar fills up, which awards a single upgrade point to spend on unlocking skills. Right, you can earn XP from traveling to a settlement, bonus XP for the first time you arrive, certain actions during events, selling resources at a town that doesn't have any resources of that type. All right, so if we bring new goods to places, they give us extra XP. Successfully defending the caravan against attackers, right. Okay, those should be on top of these other buttons, I think. Uh, okay, so we have heroism, recruitment, horse shouter, <laughs> plus one speed. Horses respond well to yelling, or are they just trying to get away from you faster? Oh my god. Thunk. Plus one for security. Crossbows are intimidating, even if the person firing them has only a very sick, very basic grasp of aiming. <laughs> Whoever writes this is brilliant. I love these descriptions. Tavern trawler, plus three higher slots. When under attack, the more the merrier. I think that refers to mercenaries that you can hire for your caravan. All right, hard bargain. Minus 20% higher costs. Not people you want to mess around with, but you can still bargain up to a point. Good reputation. This is purchasing. 25% more goods available to buy in all markets. That sounds very good. Merchants always keep a bit back for their best customers. Piled high. Increased caravan capacity by 10%. Yes, please. If we move that thing, then I think we can fit this thing and that thing in the space. Okay, so here is our stuff. This is health. What is this? Target rating. The higher this number, uh, the greater the chance the card is attacked. Increases with more goods and taking on missions. Decrease with cart conceal stat. Okay, there we are. So this is caravan speed 2, caravan capacity 25. Defense is 2, and concealment is 5. All right, let's look at security. Here you can view the fighters that you currently have protecting your caravan. Traveling the roads of Peregrine can be a dangerous undertaking, so it is wise to train mercenaries, wise to hire mercenary to travel with you from place to place, ready to fight off attackers to protect the caravan. Each fighter agrees to be hired for a set number of journeys, at which point they will take their leave and head home. Bear this in mind so you don't find yourself woefully outnumbered in a fight. So it looks like we have four slots. If a fighter's health reaches zero, then they're killed and no use as guards anymore. Necromancy being banned at present. <laughs> If their loyalty reaches zero, then they may decide to hell with it and abandon you. Wow. All right. So there's a loyalty stat we need to keep track of. Missions. Any missions you have accepted or collected here. They're a great way of earning coins and reputation, but be wary. They also make your caravan more of a target for enemies while you travel. You can abandon any missions you have previously taken here, though this may not reflect well on you if you do so too often. Okay, so we have a reputation of some kind as well. So this is our money, I think. What is this? Oh, this is, uh, no. No, we don't want to save and quit. I want to find out how do I get into this town? Hub. Oh, that's right. I was told to click the hub button. Right. 
we need to, okay, we can explore it. We can go to the market and buy stuff. Average cost, eight. oh, this is nice. So it tells us the average cost of these things and how much we pay. I assume it's this number. And green seems to mean it's cheaper than average cost. Okay, so we're gonna try to buy low and sell high, obviously. Here we have our people that we can hire. Pearly Peasant Conrad, nice. Missions, donate. Whoa, I don't even know what these mean here. Let's see, escort peasants to Arrow gives us five reputation points and lots of gold. Arrow is where? Get my, oh, that's there. Hmm, that's a long way. Um, building school. Wow, one reputation per week. The next generation of the future of the world and it sure would be nice if they could at least count to 10. Okay, so that costs a thousand coin to do that. That's obviously something when we get more money. Oh, and you can upgrade your cart too? Wow. Okay. <laughs> Two horsepower top speed for a mile an hour. Okay, so this would improve speed one, capacity two. Really? Man, I'm tempted. Reinforced structure. I assume this is gives more of these things. Yeah, it gives more of that. Horses would give us one speed, but wheels would give us speed and capacity. I'm gonna go for it. I'm just gonna upgrade this. <laughs> this is great. All right, so we got more speed and capacity, right? I hope. Okay, oh my God, we only got two capacity. All right, so that's not a lot. That's not a lot. Well, we improved it slightly. All right, let's go to the market and buy stuff. What do we got? Timber, hides, and ale. Does anyone want these things? Above average, timber, highs, or ale, rando, screen, meat, iron, nope. Serenity, ale, aha. Right, so we can go to serenity. Wait, what do they have again? No, they had meat, they wanted meat, not ale. Archon, they want ale too. Um, yeah, let's buy some ale. Okay, market. We're gonna buy your ale. Oh my god, there's only four pieces of ale in here? Really? Shoot. Um, I guess so. <laughs> this seems to have, like, it's not a lot to carry on the trip here. Um, right. This concealment is five. I'm gonna not hire anybody. I'm just gonna try to go to Randos. Let's go travel. Compress space to speed time while traveling. There we go, there's our little dot. Okay, this is currently a surplus of that resource. Okay, we already read the text here. Market. Ale is at 60. Um, wow, is that a high price? That's a high price. They have a lot of, oh wow, look at the cheapness of timber. I'm gonna buy this stuff. Is there a way to like click, can I shift click? No, control, no. Okay, so you gotta click as many times as you can uh, to uh, do that. I wish there was kind of a way to like buy all or something like that or buy till full. We do need to get some security because we're now up to six. So let's get, people can hire you soldier of fortune it doesn't oh it does tell me what they are security health and loyalty jeez um we'll hire the burly peasant for now and i think we'll get the soldier of fortune as well all right let's go to atten travel there Man, i hope we don't get attacked Eeps. okay in search of firewood an elderly woman waves from the side of the road, and you slowly drop up to a stop alongside her. You lean down. Young man, would you happen to be willing to sell me some timber? We're running low on stocks for the fire, and I'm afraid my husband and I are a little beyond cutting it down ourselves. Um, five timber for our 300. Oh, you know what? We could donate the timber. Because it only costs us 10 each, so it costs us 50. I think I'm gonna donate it and maybe we'll get a better reputation. Oh, 
Oh, look at this. All right, you decide to offer her some of your supplies for free. If she'll take it. She's wise enough to accept generosity where she can find it and gladly takes an armful of firewood. Right, so we've got two reputation and compassion. I don't know what that does, but it sounds awfully good. All right, so looks like Mandrago. Oh, the beer is going up. Okay, God's Own Armory at Aten. Day and night, the streets of Aten ring out with the sound of hammers hitting metal. The town's weaponsmiths are enormously productive, and it is said that if you find yourself on the wrong end of a sword, it's more than likely originated in Aten. How that is supposed to make you feel any better is hard to say. Mm -hmm. I should explore some of these places. Uh, right, what do they have? So this is a good price to buy, if we want to buy. Why... Like, how much do I... I have... I don't have my capa Well, my capacity is... This cannot be. I think this is um, a bug or something here. Because I gave her five wood. <laughs> so I now... I have 22 supplies, but it still says I'm at 27. Oh, dear. Um, I'll report that. Ooh, tough warrior. Wow, this guy looks like dressed to the teeth, man. Uh, brawler. Four trips. You know what? I'm gonna leave it. We ha can't do anything here. Donate stuff. Escort a chest to Serenity. Are we going to Serenity? I think we're going to Mandrago. Because they have a big major demand over there. Uh-huh. Right. Building. Library. Three. Wow. Three thousand. Three reputation per week. Alright. So it seems like these things look the same. The, the, the um, upgrades for the cart. It's good to know. Let's explore. Oh no, we're not going to explore. I want to go to Mandrago first. Travel. It takes 24 hours to get there. Oh, here is this. Look at this. Road speed is good. Uh, security is excellent. A tedious stretch. It's not exactly clear why, but some sections of road are particularly dull. You spend a good deal of your life on the road and you find some interest in most paths, no matter how well trodden. But this particular stretch is entirely unremarkable and without redeeming factors. The road is straight and narrow, whilst the views on both sides are entirely humdrum. Um... You need to focus on yourself or on the world around you. Merchant mode. Let's go on the world around us. Oh, interesting. You consider the world around you, trying to focus on the details, draw conclusions from evidence. It's a useful mental exercise, but this place is so spectacularly boring that you're unable to enthuse your mind enough to continue the practice. You go back to looking out for peculiarly shaped rocks on the road ahead. Plus mysticism. Okay, I have no idea what that does. Oh, this is what it does, I bet. Maybe. Maybe? I don't know. What do all these, like, things do? Actions, skills... I have no idea. I don't know if these came from the, from the journey or if they came from something else. I don't see where those mysticisms or compassion is listed. Alright, let's go here to Mandrago. Soak it all... Oh, I love this art. This is so pretty. I like it. Soak it all in. It is difficult to argue with the local claim that this is the prettiest town in land. Certainly the ancient streets and neo-Gothic architecture attract plentiful sightseers, some even from abroad. The other main attraction is wine, which is shipped here from all over and sold overpriced to visitors who find the surroundings even more appealing with a drink to accompany them. Yeah, no kidding. Market. Oh, look at this. This is fantastic. Let's sell this. We'll sell all the wood. That's only four, which is not great. Okay, that's good. So we made a little bit of money. But honestly, man. Grain. This is this is kind of hard. They will buy grain here, though, if I go there. They'll buy grain and iron and ale. Let's buy some grain, then. I mean, it's, it's regular market price, but if they will pay a little bit more for it, why not? Okay, so this, so I guess that bug canceled itself when I sold those because I was able to buy nine of these when I only had four of those. Okay, I will add that to my little report. Uh, let's also see the, um, can we explore this place? No. Oh, road repairs, hello. Plus, oh, road speed and reputation. Oh. <gasps> 
What, what is my security looking like? Um, three trips and one trip for that guy. Missions. There's a chest to Oxtown, which is there. Um, let's just go to Serenity. I think we should go there. Please, no, um, no. I, I'm sorry. I want to get here. Thank you, game. Good. No. Can I? Oh, it's not connected. Okay, I have to go to Aten first. So we'll travel there. Oh, them. With the caravan pausing alongside the road for a brief respite, you climb down from the cart. Pat one of the horses absent-mindedly and wander behind the cart to check nothing has moved around in transit. You stare at the piled items for a while, mentally calculating their potential worth, small and imaginary numbers flashing above each of them. Perhaps you're a little engrossed in this because you don't sense anything, but when you eventually turn around, there is there it is. On the ground in front of you, the word grain. It takes a long time to register that the word is, word is spelled out with ants. By ants, actually, it appears. The ants would like some grain. This is the most peculiar thing I've ever heard of. Give them grain. Still somewhat in shock, you gather some grain for the ants and then place it carefully alongside them. They rush into the action, industriously grabbing the grain and marching it back to their nest with military precision. You would hope they might bring you something in return, but the ants are nothing if not inscrutable. So we gain nothing from this but lose our grain. That is not ideal. <laughs> we didn't have that much grain to begin with. That's okay. We'll be fine. Okay, God's Own Armory. Okay, that's right. We were here. Anything good in the market? Not really. We could buy... Oh, and it did it again. I can't... Can I sell one and then buy? Yes. Okay, if I sell one and then buy, that's kind of like a little workaround for now. Let's go to Serenity for now. Alright. Trees in every cursed direction. An isolated community dominated on all sides by the ancient trees of the Holbeck Forest. Wood felling is the main occupation here, with annual contests of all revolving around some part of the process. Who can wield the axe best, drag stumps the fastest, and throw trunks the greatest distance? The folks here are famously fond of a drink or seven, as long as that drink is ale. Right. Um. Wow. This is not a good price here. We are in Serenity, right? This is where it's supposed to be better prices for stuff. <laughs> Jeez. <gasps> Timber is at a high price, right? All right, we're gonna sell this. We're gonna sell the grain here, even though we're not gonna make much. We're gonna buy all the lumber we can. Right, and then we're gonna go to Archon. I have six. Let's look at our security. We have only one person left for security. Ah. Right, let's go and get some people here. I think the music went just a teeny bit loud. Let me adjust that real quick. Okay, that's a little bit better, I think. Right, Soldier of Fortune. Five trips. That seems to be pretty decent. Wow, Local Hunter. He's cheaper. Let's get this cheaper guy. For now. Um, and then we'll go to Archon. Right? Low average price. Ale? Ale is good. We can go to Mandr uh, Mandrago for that. Um, yeah, let's go to Archon. Travel. I really wanted to explore Serenity, but I feel like we should get there before that place goes under. You see a priest. The many faiths and gods of Peregrine have blessed it with an abundance of holy folks spreading the good word. One is making their way ponderously towards you now, although you could swear they weren't there a minute ago. Just turn that down a little bit more. Okay. Um, we can ask for healing, ignore him, and offer for them to join you. I don't think I need healing. I think I'm okay. Priests are handy to have around proper. Oh, plus mysticism. All right. And he's here for two trips. I don't know what he's he asks for. Maybe nothing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We, oh, guerrilla to marketing. Holy fuzzy cats. 
Uh, right. The swiftness of the attack is perhaps the most terrifying part. That and the crossbow bolt buried in the cart just a few inches from your head. Before you know it, you're surrounded on all sides. Ranged fighters taking aim from many angles with heavily armored figures close in with swords, maces, and warhammers. Things are not looking good for you and your guards. Their leader seems to be a powerfully built figure now approaching in full plate armor, wearing a bardiche, an unholy union of spear and battle axe. The armored individual flips up the visor plate on their helmet to reveal a surprisingly friendly looking man with a bushy mustache. When he speaks, it is in a deep baritone. Hello, good merchant. I am Jagan, and these are my colleagues, the Battle Fighters of Jagan, or BFOJ for short. We are a forward facing, highly trained, and extremely professional band of warriors for hire. We don't like to use the term mercenary because that has connotations of untrustworthiness and ill discipline, which is very much the opposite of us. I hope you are not alarmed by our simulated attack, but we believe it is a valuable way of demonstrating two key points. One, that the roads can be perilous indeed, and two, we are extremely good at what we do. We are based in Archon, and I hope if you have any security needs, you will consider us in the future. You're about as bemused as you're ever likely to be. Um, question this approach, ask about a discount. Color me impressed, why not? You congratulate Jagan and his forces on a truly memorable entrance and some spectacularly accurate crossbow work. Jagan seems delighted at this and he says he hopes for a long and mutually beneficial arrangement between you both. <laughs> he and his fighters say their merry goodbyes and head on. I thought they were going to attack me. Plus bravery. <laughs> no kidding. Oh, wow. I thought we were going to lose our whole cart full of goods. I, I really did. Right. Archon. Burly peasant leaves the caravan. Okay. The most important place there is, the capital of Peregrine. Archon has stood for a thousand years. The grand symbols of nationhood are clustered around its ancient hub, while suburbs are packed in right up to the grand city walls. Like most capitals, the residents do have a certain sense of superiority, and prices tend toward the excessive. Let's go to the market first and sell stuff. Oh my goodness. Happy days are here again. See, I wish I could just like sell all here. Lots of clicking involved for now. Wow, <laughs> that's so good. Oh, wow, ale is at a really good price too. All right, I'm gonna buy all the ale they have. Wait, up to 60. Because the price is going up as I'm clicking this, see? Um, I need people for trips. I get a tough warrior. I could get the, another burly peasant. I'll get a, I'll not get another burly peasant, I think. Let's explore the market. Okay, I'm rank two junior. Oh, debug. Oh, rank two junior merchants requires gather 5,000 gold, unlock tier two perks. Okay. The first step on a long road to establishing your merchant guild is gathering enough gold to register your merchant enterprise with the Ministry of Commerce in the capital. There are two requires for this process, filling in an enormous series of forms and handing over a big pile of coins. Wow. Okay. All right, so that's a lot of money to make. Um, let's see where we have... Oh, these guys have ale. No, 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 no. Um, I wish escape worked for getting rid of that menu. Below average prices on those. Lancer. I kind of want to do... Oh, look at this. There's ale wanted in Atten, and I think in Serenity they want ale as well. All right, I'm going to go Serenity to Archon, because why not? All right, let's go speed this up a bit. A despondent merchant. You know that look, those slumped shoulders. A fellow merchant stumbles despondently along the road while you are stopped at camp nearby, and you call out a greeting to him. His mood seems visibly light to visibly lighten a, a little as he walks toward the fire, dropping his pack down heavily alongside him. Whenever you see merchants who have to carry all their wares on their backs, you say a small prayer for your caravan and horses, helping to save you from a hunched-over destiny. He's clearly as delighted as you are to have a fellow trader to talk to, and you both discuss the various highs and lows of recent adventures. He explains that his last trip was a complete bust. He has ended up with a pack full of stock that he could not sell and now has to carry all the way home. He is happy to sell it if you to it sell if to oh my god 
sell it to you for a discount if you're interested, as it'll save him carrying it all the rest of the way home and having to sell for a loss anyway. I, I guess I don't have enough money because I don't have the options here, so we're going to buy nothing. You apologetically explain that you can't buy anything off him right now. That's really sad. Or, or it could be that I have no space in my caravan because we're totally full on beer at the moment. Oh dear. An indisputably bad open. Those who believe in omens will tell you that often they are inscrutable, their meanings difficult to divine. You have always suspected that this is simply a way to keep the diviners in a job. The convenience of only chosen few who can understand or translate a thing has never sat well with you. Still, some omens are so spectacularly direct and obvious that they perhaps do not even qualify as omens so much as signs, messages, clear evidence of something. When a falcon, the national symbol of Peregrine, jumps, drops out of the sky and lands dead just in front of the caravan, it'd be hard for even the most immune to superstition to explain away. Okay, we should bury this thing. All right, takes a little while, but you decide to buy, bury, bury, buy, bury the unfortunate bird at the side of the road. It's the symbol of a nation, uh, your, your nation, it just feels right. The rest of the caravan, usually in as much of a rush as you, seems to appreciate the gesture. So we get a morale boost and mysticism, which is nice. Okay, continue. Go back to Serenity. Oh no, there's wood at a low price over there. Okay, uh, let's see what we're gonna sell here. Okay, this is a pretty decent price right here. All right, average cost is 60, so let's sell all of the ale that we have. Make some money, finally. All right, and then we'll buy, let's buy the timber here. Okay, buy up to 27. Now we can hire some people, I think. Oh, and low iron? Really? Oh, apparently it is low. Uh, right, let's figure out, do they want iron anywhere? No, go away. Thing, Archon. They do want iron. Oh, I should sell this. Oh, I shouldn't have. Darn it. Uh, right. Let's go back to the market and we'll sell. You know, we'll do like half and half. We'll buy iron. Because that's... Oh, wait. We can't even buy any more. Okay, we'll just do that then. We'll buy six. That was really bad because I probably messed up the prices. I don't know if they go up or down in certain ways or what. But anyway, tavern. Do I need more security? Three trips left on all these people. This is a good price, though, for a an old soldier. Security two. Um, kind of happy with these guys. I, I'm okay. Burly peasant. One trip for 25 gold. Missions. We can donate stuff. Combat. Ooh. Deserters on the road to Aten. Escort fine blade to Randos. It's not that much money. Um, buildings. Oh, here we go. Well maintenance would give us plus 10 reputation. Oh, there's more. Oh my God. Look at this. Donate green. Um, five reputation. Protection festival. Salt 10. I don't want to spend 500 on that when I can spend it on my cart. Structure. Capacity of extra two. Defense and concealment. Speed would be good as well. Um, this is speed and defense. Defense is good. But structure is even better. I think we're going to go with structure here. Uh, ooh, capacity more. Um, all right, so let's go and go back to the market and buy more wood. We got two more pieces of wood fitting in here. And I'm liking going to Archon right now. So let's uh, go down there. Oh God, I keep hitting the wrong thing. Right, click, travel. Okay, there we go. Let's see, a storm hits. Oh no, you're caught up in a sudden storm that seems to appear out of nowhere. One moment the world was still and then the wind whipped up like a harbinger. Then the black clouds rolled in. 
Lightning rips through the sky and slams into the ground some miles ahead. The horses whinny uncertainly as the thunder bellows over the land like an angry god. I want to run for cover. You quickly find a rock overhang and everyone scrambles under cover. You pat the horses to keep them calm, then bring them some oats. You sit watching the rain pelt at the ground and listen to the distant rumbles, which slowly grow more distant. Eventually it ends, the clouds vanish, and the sun comes back out as if nothing had ever happened. Thank goodness. At least we're safe. Oh wow, wild animals seem emboldened in these dark times. They can probably smell the blood. You can see a bank of wild cunning eyes spread out around you, and somehow you know there are more sneaking up behind. Not dignified, but running seems sensible. You had your chances, Wolfie. Oh my god. This is bad. <laughs> Let's run. <gasps> no, mine is bravery. I still don't know what those... Oh god, we still have to fight them? Seriously. Oh, this is interesting. Uh, right. This is a deployment phase. The fist icons indicate which directions enemy may attack from. Select a direction slice and select your fighters and press assign to place them to defend that direction. The score in blue beneath each fighter is their security, combat power. Uh, the score in red is their health. Right. Press the cross next to deployed fighters on the list to take them out of deployment, allowing you to reassign them if you wish. When you're happy, press continue. Okay, let's assign these both these guys here. I guess we're happy. <laughs> oh, this is the cross. It's like an X. I got it. Oh dear. Guys, don't die, please. North, seven versus... Okay, player wins. Okay. Uh, oh, these are going various turns. Six versus... Uh, oh, and it's rolling some dice, maybe? I don't know. Okay. If the enemy were victorious in any direction, they will get a chance to loot the cart. Each direction you lose in will incur one chance at getting looted, so losing a fight in multiple directions can be very damaging. On the left, you'll see if the enemy successfully looted the cart from any direction. Being looted will also automatically fail any escort or combat missions you are currently handling. Okay, that's fine. We didn't seem to die there. Did okay. The attendant fox. You catch sight of a fox sitting patiently at the side of the road. One of the predominant religions of Peregrine incorporates four cardinal animal spirits, of which the fox is one tied to the element of fire. It stares at you in ne neither a threatening nor welcoming manner, as if weighing you up. I feel like there should be a third option here, but I don't see it. I don't want to attack the fox. I'll ignore it. You pass by the fox and watch as it sits there, unmoving on the road behind you until disappearing over the horizon. I Maybe if I could have offered it some meat, that might work. See, these people have meat. Uh, oh, a sweet comedy. Five, oh, bandits. Is this the same one? Oh, no, it's not. A, okay, five bandits emerge from behind cover and step purposefully onto the road. You quickly sense that something is different about this attack and not quite normal. At first glance, the bandits look at each other. Each look like your standard bandit. But the more you look at them, the more you feel like they look out somehow false, the mannerism of the bandits seeming like affectation. It starts to become a lot more obvious when they start speaking. Halt, good merchant, and know this. We wish only for your goods and not more, unless it is trouble you seek. You frown. Another begins to speak. I say, we just put an end to this miserable life. My thirst for blood is... I'm always thirsty for more blood. The other bandits look unhappy with this. Felonious, enough with your madness. This life of banditry is dark, aye, but there is no need for us to be as savages. Is there not a certain nobility in our aims and stalwart hearts? This at least I hope still. Is it not so, brothers and sisters? Is it not so? You are now certain beyond any doubt that this is a band of actors. Um, let's play along. You decide to play along. Oh, please spare me. My life is worth yet more than all that this card contains, and I pray you wager one against the other and find the reckoning so. The actors seem delighted with this response, and several applaud. They lower their prop weapons and explain that they are, in fact, actors. To your mock surprise, they hope they didn't startle you, and thank you for the opportunity to engage in this avant-garde event. Apparently, they are soon appearing in a performance of The Merchant's Menace in Mandrago and wanted to rehearse in a more real setting. They give you some free tickets to the performance and happily bid you good day. As the troop leaves, one of the horses looks at you, and you could swear it rolls its eyes. Actors. Plus cultured. Nice. Okay, then. 
The trainee hunter. A deer flashes across the road not far ahead of your caravan, quickly followed by a whistling arrow, which apparently misses its mark, pinging off a rock instead. Not long after this, the arrow is tailed by its inaccurate originator, a young hunter. He notices the caravan, turns and bows theatrically, then walks over. A hundred coins for a crappy... <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, these guys have three trips now. Go by. You have neither weapons nor a job to offer the young man, so you wish him well and continue on your journey. All right, we're almost in Archon. Let's go. Now, market. Yes. We're going to sell all of this. Oh, they still have lots of wood. Oh, well, actually, I could sell it to them. Anyway, we bought it for... I don't even know how much we bought it for. Okay not going to be a good bargain um let's figure out yeah that that was not that, that was not a really great bargain there what does lancer have they have grain and meat and hides i should have took taken the wood there you know what i could still take the wood there let's buy this back to the 20 level oh okay apparently i can't Arrow has grain, and they want hides. These people want wood and iron, and they've got grain and meat and ale. Oxtown, come for the food, stay for the food. We also have ale. Oxtown's primary function has long to been has long been to provide food to the capital. Unlike Lancer, it favors pastoral farming and the rolling fields are home to the many sheep, cows, and lesser boars. Salt is in high demand uh, to preserve the meat being sent east. Ale is also a local specialty. The best in the kingdom is often said to be made here. Hawkstown is also considered something of an intellectual hub, possibly due to all the local ale. Mm -hmm. All right, they have, they want iron. They have grain and meat and ale. Hmm. These people have... Actually, all of this stuff would be okay. I should go... I'm gonna try Oxtown. Let's go down this way. A Red Bard's Journey. A red bard approaches the caravan as it passes near a village. He stands out against the landscape like glowing sigil on stone, his blood-red tunic catching the light. He would like to transport you to your next destination, and he's willing to pay trans uh, willing to pay handsomely. He would, oh, he would like transport to your next destination. There are those among your caravan who are not very fond of the red bards and their sonorous, booming rhetoric. They are certainly divisive figures, and some would argue that they simply sow more division wherever they go. I want to have the coins. Despite the misgivings of some amongst the caravan, you could simply use the coin. Plus, he just wants to go out to your next destination, so you won't need to make any diversions specially. He's even happy to pay up front rather than on arrival. You are aware of the man all the same. If he takes a disliking to you or something you say, then you might find yourself being the subject of body songs in taverns across Peregrine, and not the good kind of body songs. He largely keeps to himself, sat in the back of the cart while working through his notes. Apparently, he had been interviewing some villagers about a crime that had been committed there. There is definitely grumbling meant for your ears from some, but your coin purse feels noticeably heavier. Oh yeah, you bet. Arrow, right on target. Named for the river upon whose banks it has grown, Arrow is a pleasant town despite being rather prone to flooding. Tanneries making leather from animal hides are a cottage industry here, and a growing potter's quarter of the town has made it a popular source of all things pottery as well. Home of noted sculptor George B. Thatcher, whose somewhat obscure, obscene statues are especially popular in the capital. All right, I think I've, I've just looked at the timer and we're way, 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 way over time. So I th I'm enjoying this immensely. I have to say, I love just really enjoying the atmosphere so far. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this so far. I will be playing more of this. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.